Hello everybody, welcome to the final playing game uh, in the final phase. We've got Boa Piff with his 2 and 0 Dark Elves, uh, double assassin Dark Elves, versus Crucifer with his Imperial Nobility. And uh, Chris has already lost a game and he's come through the loser's bracket. So uh, a bit unlucky for Boa Piff drawing him here because this is going to be a tough match for him. Uh, you can see a couple of dodge, uh, well, blodge blitzes for Cruz, six guard and a leader thrower and uh, Bopif has got a bunch of dodge a wrestle witch and a block witch and in the booth is um, I was going to say Yay! the man, the myth, the legend but I can't <laughs> say that the woman, the myth, the legend Tren, hello <laughs> Potato <laughs> Potato, yes Potato power glorious return Yeah Oh, is that right, Jaeger Mage? That's amazing yeah, so this is this is wild because um God, I don't know who that is. Is that Bopith? I don't I don't know Christopher's real name. <laughs> Wait, so this is this is the new team, the knobs, right? Yes, this is uh okay. Imperial Nobility. This is Dimmy's favourite team. Um so we can have a look at them here for you. We've got yellow the blitzers. They're you know, they're like a human blitzer, except they've got a catch. And uh, they've got agility access instead of strength access, so that's why they've both got dodge. And then, oh, is this Dimmy? Uh, no, a better looking oh, version Calcium. of Dimmy. Oh, hello, Calcium. <laughs> how are you doing? Hello. I, I, I thought I'd, I, 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 a trend, how you doing? Um, I thought I'd jump in for a game and, um, you know, I, I give obviously the Blood Bowl community the benefit of my extensive knowledge and skill set. Glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, that is a complete difference to my <laughs> level of knowledge and skill set. <laughs> I, do you know what? Listen, that first oh, game, um, yeah, I, I've come away with a lot of commentary tips actually from, uh, <laughs> from your commentary. It was it was very very entertaining indeed, and it's an absolute pleasure to hear you back here again. Uh, welcome back to the Blood Bowl Addiction. Thank you, thank you. Mm. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Well, I, I'm overwhelmed. The best way in it. That's probably the best way to approach Blood Bowl. You know what's going on. It really is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, monetization of this part. <laughs> I will fucking drop King Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will behave myself honestly. One of my now New Year's resolutions is to. Uh, you know, make sure that I don't cost Jim money um, because I don't think my subs uh, make up for it somewhat. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Calcium. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <Yeah. laughs> oh my God. Dimmy commented on one of these and he was brilliant. He's like, every time, every time something got hit, he's like, I'd stand firm here. <laughs> <laughs> like every time they get hit, they, see, see this zoomed in crotch or zoomed in or crotch. That's an icon for Stan the Firm. What? Yeah, like who who thinks this is a good icon? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a coochie. <laughs> it looked just like that to me. <laughs> in a good reach around on this <laughs> this game already <laughs> oh my god amazing sponsoring at least one calcium f-bomb <sighs> jim mg <Jaws>. amazing <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> i exclamation by jaws and thank you very much jager mage as well glorious it doesn't look like it's standing <laughs> firm no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> it's only, it's only C C bombs are bad, and then two words you never say, so they're they're okay. <laughs> yeah, C, C bomb. There's no need to ever use the C bomb. You know, it just shows a lack of imagination. <laughs> um, you know, I I, I prefer to um, threaten Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> completely reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, we went full circle back to. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, An orc. <laughs> <laughs> We 
be good. fair, it's, um, it's actually um, brings me nicely on to the next thing I'd like to say. Um, you know, obviously, <laughs> with reference to intolerance and general unfettered hatred, I really hate Imperial nobility with a burning passion. Oh. I think they are trash. Oh, wow. Absolute trash. And anyone that plays them <laughs> is trash, right? <laughs> and they have a feather fetish. And I hate them. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Back up, back up! What's a feather fetish? <laughs> the, look at the look at the hands. They've got, they've all got have feathers. They're brilliant. Oh, I didn't even see those. Yeah, the feathers are great. So sorry, sorry to disappoint you, Calcium. Oh, I love the feathers. Look at I like how they're animated to flow in the wind like that too. Man, oh they really spent some time on that. How long? So <laughs> how long do you think? Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> it's a good job you got the graphics set on low because when you zoom in, you still can't see anything. <laughs> 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 oh dear me! Yeah. Um, feathers are the only redeeming feature. I agree. Uh, yeah, they're not the best team ever, right? But they get so many skills. That's the thing, right? They, uh, they get the four guards, guard on the ogre, two blodgers, and they get a leader, and then they get a double for a sixth guard. Like, they get so many skills. Like, the, the Dark Elves only got six, and they've got six guards. They've got three more skills, one of which is a double. And, um, you know, it makes a big difference. This is a formidable team, six guard and... And all the rest, yeah. Is is that a new um, looking character, like the assassin guy on the Dark Elf team? Are those their blitzers? Uh, no, they're assassins. They, they were in Blood Bowl oh. 2 as well, oh, but yeah. nobody ever took no them. No one really you Yeah, so why do people take them in Blood Bowl 3? Well, they shouldn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> but look, Bopis won both his games. Uh, they, they've, they've become pretty popular on tabletop on the continent. PC tells me um, because you know they can stab they can stab like snotlings and goblins and stuff uh, on the underworld team and underworld are the best team in Blood Bowl nowadays so so the fact they can stab them plus like what happens is with with the way the points work you often end up with like a dodgy amount of points so it's if you want full blitzers and witch elves then you end up with points left over what, wait, wait, wait. what points can we Go back a couple a couple words and then go on with the sentence. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you know TV go, gold gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the way okay. I'd build the team, I'd only have three blitzers and two witch elves, and then you get like more money. Well, more, yeah, more money, more points, whatever <laughs> to spend. So that that's what I do. But the, if you build it the way he has done with two rerolls and an apothecary and max positionals, then um. Like, you know, basically, I would drop a Blitzer and get an extra reroll. I would drop both Assassins and the Blitzer and get an extra reroll, something like that. If you don't do that, then you've got 30k left over. And three Assistant Coaches is basically nothing, right? So you might as well change linemen into Assassins, because an Assassin is just a Wood Elf lineman. It's better than a Wood Elf lineman, because it can... It does have shadowing, and it can stab sometimes. So it's, you know, it's like you've, you've taken two Wood Elf linemen on your Dark Elf team. Mm. So it's, it's not terrible... It's just not good. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You That's like never. something I'm gonna do. <laughs> no. no, you should never. You should never take them in like progression, right? In progression, mm -hmm. you, you you shouldn't take them because they're just not worth it. But in this, when you're not giving up anything to take them, you kind of might as well. Basically, that's the thing. Yeah, plus one AZ. What, what we can take from that exchange is Tren barely heard the word assassin and is pretending to know exactly what you were just on about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, and Tren's going, well, yes, I should really do that. Yes. Yeah, you, know, you have no clue, do you? You don't have a clue. No, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a Scooby. <laughs> not a Scooby, mate. You're not my mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All I have is a potato for a brain, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just spilled my coffee. Oh dear. Oh, oh! good schools! Sorry, it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is the Blood Bowl community is that much richer for you being a part of it, Trent. And it also means that we're only 99.998% males in the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> yeah! Pretty incredible. Do you know what? We're actually ninety nine point seven five now. Um, I no no. That's not too ninety seven point five. 
97.5. My my YouTube analytics came through, and we've gone up from one point one point five women to two point five women. There you go. Percent. Wow. Amazing. Um, <laughs> are the other female streamers still around? Uh, Miss Belltree, uh, B. Right, Dizzy B. Yeah, Dizzy B. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do they still stream? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, cauliflower okay. and uh, maybe it doesn't anymore, but it's still around. Okay. Miss Beltree doesn't stream anymore, but it's still around. Still plays. Yeah, giraffe. Oh, yeah, giraffe. Seems to yeah, giraffe. giraffe. I don't think she streams anymore. I think, I think, they're still around, just not streaming as much. She yeah. does stream sometimes. I remember seeing... Oh, yeah, yeah, she did. She raided the other day. Oh, my God, she raided literally the other day. Literally the other day. Oh, my God, I'm terrible. But I remember I remember I casted, like, a few of her off-stream teams, and I thought, oh, she hasn't streamed for ages. So maybe, maybe she hadn't. I just didn't know. It was, to be fair, over the last 10 months, what happened is I kind of stopped watching Blood Bowl streams because I, you know, I didn't want to watch Blood Bowl 3, basically, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dizzy Bess, isn't it? Dizzy Bess, not Dizzy B. <laughs> I know. I just always I a... started saying oh, oh. bees because I'm incompetent <laughs> at reading, and it just stuck. No. Yeah. 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 Can I um interrupt a second? I'm actually trying to find this game live on Blood Bowl Free, but the interface is so easy to use, right? That I'm really struggling, Jim. So could you either share your screen or give me a tip on how to actually <laughs> find this bloody game? I am sharing my screen, aren't I? Uh, I don't know. Uh... I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Trend's just been blagging yeah, me. She can, she can see what I've been talking about for all the games. <laughs> One... <laughs> that would have been funny if you were, no, and I was not, just not like... Coming up as, um, not coming up as share screen on my Discord. That's no, I, I see it. I'm seeing it on Discord, yeah. Oh, uh, well, clearly you've got the extra permissions, just saying, you know. Like that. <laughs> Some of us are just tier, better. Think, my subs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's on there. It's on there. I can't. I don't. I don't know what else I can do. To find it, you could. You could search for Crucifer, maybe, or Book. What if? What if I share my screen of Jim's screen? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do you know what? It doesn't really matter that much, does it? Because it's not like I'm renowned for talking a lot about Blood Bowl during the Blood Bowl stream. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. This... <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing uh, Jim's stream from <laughs> Discord. Yeah. Oh, into the Discord. I mean, there's a lot going on that screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. It's all good. <laughs> Oh god, this is great! Now, I, now, now I've got that open in the other one. <laughs> the streamer said to me. <laughs> now I've got them all open. Fantastic! Right. Um, oh dear. So, look. Let's try and look at the game. After all that, let's try and look at the game. Um, okay. <laughs> no removals on either side. Three. So the, yeah, these are Wrestle Stand Firm Guard, right? These guys. So really good against the Witch Elves. Can't get surfed and stuff. Um, but he's got them in the middle, and he's just trying to use the the guard to brute force up the middle, I guess. Which is it sucks versus Elves, but he's doing quite well, right? Turn four, he's like you know normally what would happen is you'd pile in, and the 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 uh, the Elves would all beat you beat you off. But uh, they can't do that as effectively with all the guard and the Stand Firm, so they're probably just gonna keep retreating one square. And keep trying elf screen and like maybe get around the back or you know leave people lying on the ground to threaten a cage as it goes around is, there we go is is this kind of um oh i guess i was gonna say is the ball kind of unguarded here but this i guess makes sense yeah no this is actually fine for both teams right now isn't it you know the elves are in good shape um the imperial nobility are in good shape maintaining the middle of the pitch which they need to do um forcing you know the elves to make rolls basically um yeah i quite this is fine for both teams right now isn't it with no removals um it's in the balance well i don't like that push direction i want to push him to here and put this bodyguard in i i hate this push direction from cruz i think yeah, you have to go yeah. there and bring in this this knob um because now and he's probably just realizing how absolutely dangerous this is but he can just uphill this ogre right he can just i was going to say ogre. a bit of up, uphill action yeah, yeah, this is dangerous for Cruz. 
I guess you could put the knob in here. But you've got to think carefully about uh, where you yeah, put your knob. Yeah, he's got to put his knob in. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're going uphill. <laughs> yeah, he's got to force your way in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So what's this defense? Is this just called like the blob or something? It's not quite like a meat cube, but it's getting kind of close, right? Mega bunker. This is a mega bunker. A mega bunker? Mm. <laughs> Actually, it's yeah. Pick, pick star sixty nine. Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. a player he is. Yeah. I nearly said was then, but I think he's still alive. Okay, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Yeah, I don't know if he still plays on Fumble, but yeah, back in back when uh, Calcium and I used to be heavy Fumble enjoyers, <laughs> there was Pigstar69 with Meat Cubes, yeah. Uh, sorry, not Meat Cubes, Mega Bunkers. Mega Bunker, yeah. Mega Bunkers. I'm actually not making it up, do I? I'm not making it up. It, that's from 10 years ago, 11, 12 years ago. 12 years ago, I think. 12 years ago, Fumble. Unnerved DP 2012 on it. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got there, Jim, didn't we? Yeah. It's a shame that they chuffed up the rest of the game, but, you know, <laughs> you can't have everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, he doesn't, oh, is he going to dodge in? Oh, no, he's one being... The, 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 fun, the interesting thing is these, these rubbish assassins can always just, like, try and dodge in and stab the ball carrier, right? So, I think uphilling the... Uphilling the uh, Ogre was way better, right? You just uphill the ogre, and then you can just stab the stab the ball, and like for free, basically. But better than like not hitting the ball. There's a seventy six percent win rate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, picking mostly right, Dementor. <laughs> no offense to Pigstar sixty nine, but he he was you know. Win rates don't make a lot of difference on Fumble, right? Because there, there was the whole, there was the whole ranked being a, a joke <laughs> for a lot of years. Right, so you Is know, spacing with elves here good, or would you rather those be like one square away? Although that's giving room, isn't it? I guess are knobs good at dodging? Oh. And not particularly. No, this is this is so. This is the thing, right? This is this is like how Proels tend to play, and how obviously how Chunter plays Skaven, and how uh, Olivier Dulac plays Skaven, how a lot of people play Skaven. To be fair, you know, you, you kind of want to uh, you want to go in hard later in the drive, and then so like this kind of turn is what you want to happen eventually sometimes, but it like because at the end like. Like just screening isn't as good as it was because of this double, you know, multiple reroll usage. If if you just screen mm, okay. like this, and then they just keep like you can't keep doing it indefinitely because they can force you back with stand firm. So like if you just keep screening across, then then eventually on turn eight that you know they've got three rerolls in one turn. Okay, he's got two, but you know teams in general can have three rerolls. They can blitz somebody, knock them over, dodge past all this kind of stuff. So the multiple rerolls really does let them force their way through um you know when they need that penetration if you're going to penetrate mm. the box you've got to go in hard exactly okay exactly i guess yeah that makes sense because <laughs> you you have the three rerolls yeah i didn't think about that yeah it's it's made for more like it's made passive defenses worse and it's made uh aggressive defenses more likely to work as well as more necessary right because like, so no more Dakas? Oh no no, Dakas are brilliant. Dakas are brilliant. It makes the oh, okay, Dakar okay. better. Makes the Dakar better. Because oh, now, true, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, you just you just you you dick around for seven turns, and then the one turn that you don't dick around for, you use all three rerolls to break through. So. Hmm. Yep. I don't think the Dakar friendly. Yeah, no, I don't think the knobs needed to penetrate. I think the knobs needed to just consolidate. Right. This is the, this is the thing. When 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 the agility team bases all your team like this. It's it's what Chunter does all the time, right, on ladder. He bases all your guys, and if you make a mistake, he gets his hands on your balls. Whereas now, you know, Cruz... Oh, Cruz good didn't... old reach around. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whereas now, Cruz didn't waste any time trying to get forward, leaving his balls unprotected. He just beat off as many L's as he could, and now he's <laughs> he's hold, held his ground. <laughs> there you go. His box has stood firm. 
Indeed, yeah, yeah. Look, it's it's pr it's pretty okay, right? It's not the best. Um, it got a bit hairy when the ogre didn't stand up, but it's not a hairy box. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, a hairy box. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a, a chain on, right? If he if he hits one of the linemen, um, he might be able to do some kind of chaining. But obviously, you can, like, a lot of these being stand firm, you can't. Oh dear. Yeah, take the blocks on offer exactly. Yeah, you've just you've just got to you just got to punch them all down, like, and it. But you you and not make a mistake, right? Because you could you could take all the hits, but it, still, if you make a mistake in either ordering or like you know you end up in the wait a minute, you, like you know you take six blocks and you're like, well, how do I protect the ball now? And then all of a sudden there's a one D. So like you know it's oh my you rolled up skulls. I think we saw Ashram play, and Ashram didn't stab once with his uh, with his assassins, and it looks like Bopif is the same. Like he could have just stabbed there, right, against Armor Seven, and he didn't, and Dub skulled instead. One in nine. <laughs> there you go. I was gonna say something to Steve Marty's thing, but <laughs> this is your stream, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Feel free, Trent. Say whatever you like. <laughs> Calcium's here. <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was just gonna say all boxes are fine, but I just I just prefer to have a lot of meat in that box. You know? <laughs> that way the ball <laughs> I'm just so protected. <laughs> so what you're saying, Trent, is you, you quite like um you quite like a trim box. <laughs> <laughs> um I would just I wouldn't say like a trim box. I actually I sing right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Yeah, yeah, a full box. A full box, yeah, yeah. That's understandable, understandable. Yeah, you know, you just gotta protect the ball. Oh boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, flip me. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, the blood ball's happening. <laughs> thanks, Christopher B. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying thanks, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I thought it would. I thought it would, and yep, yeah, Trent has been on point. Primary, primary <laughs> provider of content to the channel, honestly. <laughs> This whole situation is that Tren is actually not a Brit, and you know, obviously, non Brits are not renowned for their double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a good point, isn't it? Yeah, Tren, Tren's a fucking pro. Yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> James was still alive, you going, yeah, 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 good job, Tren. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know the Yanks had it in them. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing. Oh. oh wow, this seems great. So, funnily enough, after saying last turn, Cruz just did all the right things and blocked and blocked and blocked and didn't expose the ball. Now, he's he's trying to run forward. The problem is, this cage corner can get surfed by a witch elf, and this cage corner will be on a witch elf. So, and he's got a dodge with dodge, and he's got a dodge with, with at least one bodyguard. Oh, I take the sideline as well. I, uh, he is on turn six. Um, and although nobility are fairly manoeuvrable, um, speed wise, you know, and they got good speed, yeah, taking a side. He has yeah, to, though, cool. right? He had to, because if, if he didn't, yeah. he's he's on this. But yeah, maybe he just couldn't have beat everyone off, you know? Maybe he looked at looked at all the elves and he just thought, my knobs can't handle can't handle all of this. I've just got to, you know, oh, I can't maybe beat them off. Some sore knobs. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was thinking, is that. Is that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's an American thing, but yeah, saying Tren is a pro is uh, is <laughs> it does have a, Jesus. It does have another thing that it could mean, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait, what? I missed that one. That one went over my head. Uh, that's okay then. That's okay. Don't worry yeah. about it, Tren. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't okay. worry about it. <laughs> 
Right. Flip me. <laughs> Is the side cage here good? It's not great, but again, I guess I guess Chris just thought, look, he's, he's got two turns after this. He had to make the ground. A combination of him not being able to deal with all of the elves, like there were lots of elves in front of him, right? He hasn't removed any elves at all. I don't think he's even broken AV on an elf. He just hasn't got any any removals. He, you know, he hadn't got sufficient penetrations. So he just thought, I've, I've got to push this turn. He's only got two turns. So, so while you don't want to be on the sideline, especially versus Witch Elves, I, I guess he had to. You know, Cruz is really good at Blood Bowl. And, and if Cruz thinks that now is the right thing to do, it probably was. And I think it I think it was. Like, I agree, right? I think I, I didn't look exactly what the field it, position was. Pardon? Would you be surfing it, Jim? Oh, yeah, 100%. 100 million percent am I surfing. Who yeah. would you be surfing? Uh, this, this splits are here. Yeah. Oh. Wrestle How would witch, you do it? Wrestle witch can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you know, oh, he's I gone. see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. GFI back to here. Or not? Is <laughs> or not? I, I would have taken that surf as well. I, I think I would have versus Cruz is is the key thing, right? I think maybe if it's if it's versus somebody not as good as Cruz that I think I'll win. Maybe just go for like an you know, all boring elf screen. Hope for the best. But I think uh, was going, versus Cruz, sorry. I think I like, I like doing it. I don't know. So he's he's only really got an elf screen left now, and he. But I I don't like an elf screen here. No. Yeah, was taking that blitz before dodging better, or should like that? If that was the blitz that was going to happen, should he have dodged the witch elf out? Um, well, the do the blitz is a one in twelve nine six. Oh god, I remember, I remember when that shut your brain off. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> the blitz is a one in twelve nine six, but the dodge is a one in one in twelve nine six. What one in one thousand two hundred ninety six times does it go wrong? Oh! But um, the uh, the dodge fails one in thirty six times, so it's literally thirty six more times likely to fail than the block. So in this case, okay, yes, you, you the absolutely. Odds. Oh wow, we scored. One more time. One more time. One more time. Why is it? A, why is it a twelve blitz? What is that? Like, is that just the odds of a block? A going turnover. On, yeah, a turnover. Because he's got block. It's a. It's two yeah. dice. So you know, roll two dice, take your pick. One is the only. Like, if you oh. equate a one to a skull, a double skull is the only way it fails. So that's a one in thirty-six. It's like rolling a one okay. then another one. So you've got to roll four ones in a row quad skulls, four ones in a row for, for that to fail. Whereas these, you've just got to roll a double one. So this is like oh. 36 times less likely to fail. So yeah, you absolutely okay, make the hit so first. The yeah. block, the block is, oh, okay, okay. Ooh, wrestle. And is that even with dodge on, do the witch holes have dodge? They do have dodge. Yes. Everyone has dodge, right? Yeah. Uh, so the... even with dodge, the block's better? Yes, yeah, yeah. The dodge is, is capped at a 1 in 36. You can't get better odds than a 1 in 36 to do any dodge in the game. And the, the best okay. block you can make is actually like a 3 dice block, which would then be like about a 1 in 40,000 chance to fail. Um, and then so obviously a 3 dice block is super safe, but uh, you know even a 2 dice block without block would be a 1 in 81 chance to fail. So even a blockless block, that the art loves to scream a blockless block, is still better than a yeah. 2 plus dodge with dodge. I guess there's, there, there is this, there is there is this, this, the small matter of using your reroll for the turn, um, so there will be situations where dodging is better. Actually, if you haven't, and if you're out of rerolls, the dodging first would have been better. If you had no rerolls, or if you didn't want to spend a reroll, then you could say the dodging is better. Actually, but with a reroll that you're a reroll that you're willing to spend, blocking is always better than dodging. Basically. Okay. Yeah. I think I followed that. Good. There's you no way to focus the on the game. Yeah, it's too <laughs> hard. It's too hard. Right. Oh, God, even that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you could put the ogre forward and then try and blitz through. and, and But he's still going to have to make three plus dodges, so it's, it's really scary now for Cruz. He could just jam in. And rely on the stand firm and the wrestle, to like well, not the really the wrestle, the stand firm and the guard to hold the line. But this, this is the problem, right? By going last turn, he abandoned these two guys, abandoned this guy, and this worked 
quite well actually, right? Getting them both down. It's it, it's got it's got the dark elf out of the way. If it was a push either here or here, it would have been horrible. So he's he's opened up a channel, but uh, it's still a really tough turn for Chris here. Oh, there's way too much. I thought he said there's no way to focus on the game currently, and I was like, yeah, it's it's too hard. But oh, you can just blitz this guy. Okay. Well, I was wrong. He didn't need to blitz. I was blitz. literally about to say ogre blitz or we riot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ogre blitz is a good way of doing it. I, I, I do like the ogre blitz. That frees more players to come through, right? And he still gets there anyway, which is fine. And he's just regained the center. I, I had to mute for a minute because my kids were going nuts. But um, I hated the fact that the elves just gave up the center ground again. That yeah. for me, I, I know ogre blitz. Yeah, high risk failure failure rate. But look at it now. Looks great, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, so he's. Oh yeah, and he's back in the center. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it was really lucky. Honestly, really lucky to get this guy down. Right, he needed the boat down with the full power, so he was, yeah. he was like he was pretty pretty lucky to get the fifty five percent knockdown. Gets the AV break on the witch. Amazing. So yeah, great turn from Cruz. You know, it took him a while, but eventually he realised he had to use the yoga to blitz. Couldn't afford to put in an assist with somebody else. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen that. Pretty nice. That's why Cruz is uh, one of the best. Yeah, he is. He really is, yeah. The, the undisputed GOAT of Blood Bowl 2, right? Seven Chalice wins. Um, yeah, yeah. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. With chaffs. Uh, you know, and but again, right? Not really a chuff specialist, right? He just he just played them because that's what he thought gave him the best chance. It, you know, he's obviously just great at blood bowl, and he's played a bit of knobs on uh, blood bowl two, uh, blood bowl three. Sorry, mm. he's played a bit of knobs on blood bowl three, quite a bit actually. So he, I don't know if he likes them or he thinks they're good, but uh, you know, Dimmy loves knobs, but uh, I don't know what Cruz's feelings are. He might just think they're good, but uh, th this this uh, this skill pack is a good skill pack for him. That's a nice little uh, cage he's got there too. It's very nice, yeah. Yeah, good little when it knob comes cage. To, when it comes to team choices, I would imagine Crucifer is quite analytical with regards to the teams he likes to play. Whereas Dimmy is like um, the guy out of Anchorman. <laughs> I like Lamb, you know. So... <laughs> oh, I, I like not, you know. Uh, so. It, it doesn't really go that much further with Dimmy than that, does it? You know. <laughs> no. Oh, thanks, Christopher B. I just did it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christopher B. Yeah, they're, 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 they're the things that are... Uh... Yeah, they're the all Blood Bowl 2 icons. And if you mean just how do you display them, it's, uh, it's a good question. Why? Yeah, the Y key displays them. Uh, either one team they're or both teams. They're just superior, team. aren't they? Um, I, I, I had the mod pack on Blood Bowl 3, then I removed it, and I'm going to put it back on, because they're just better. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, like I'm actually I, able so. to follow this. I don't know what the default ones look like. Oh, they're, they're horrible. I like, they're trash. Yeah, they're really, they're really bad. Like, they're just objectively bad. And, oh, he's not blitzing. With, I thought he might have just blitzed with the assassin, you know, just dodging and, and uh, stab. Like pretty decent, pretty decent odds of. Uh, oh god, I've only got them on one team. Like he's, he had the dodge there. Bill. Yeah, he had the, he had the dodge there, so he could have just dodged in and stabbed. Like I wouldn't have hated it because now he's looking like he could dodge in this way, but then it's you'd have to block him and then maybe his witch elf in. But then do this block first to see if you power him right. So yeah, maybe he's gonna witch elf. I in. hate that that. Uh... What stand firm? Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> it it looked just like an orc stood up, right? And then the 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 juggernaut was a beast man standing up. Oh no, minotaur. The the juggernaut was a a a minotaur just stood there doing nothing, and the stand firm was an orc just stood there doing nothing, and they looked pretty much exactly the same. So then people were like, they look too similar. So they changed the Juggernaut icon so it looked nothing like the Stand Firm icon. And then st changed the Stand Firm icon as well for no reason. Because now it didn't look the same as Juggernaut anymore. And zoomed right in on the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. 
<laughs> it's so weird. They should just make it one giant foot. Yeah, well, if, if you want to imagine something else when you look at it, uh, Trent, you can imagine it being somebody uh, cheering, right? And that's their head, and they've got their, their hands up, and they're cheering. It just looks like a coochie, like someone's coochie. <laughs> that's all it looks like. Like, that is pure coochie. <laughs> That's as far as I'll take it, but it's pure coochie. Like, they needed a woman to help with the design for this, because, my God, that's it's literally a coochie. <laughs> it is an orc cooch. <laughs> you won't find another, another shish like this anywhere else, guys. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Thank you for your valuable input. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, the dump of icon is amazing. It's the funniest. Oh, can we say, no, he hasn't got a runner. Nobody took a runner in this event. I would have taken a runner. Like, I think the runner is better than the assassin. Nobody's using the stab on the assassin. I've seen a game and a half from Asherim and Bopiv. I haven't seen either of them stab yet. If you're not going to stab with assassins, then take a, take a runner so you can carry on the runner sometimes. Really weird. Really weird going double assassin. I, I don't like it. Okay, just goes for the dodge. Eight out of nine score. Makes it. Did he stab earlier? Okay, I just didn't see it though, so it doesn't count. I missed it. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, yeah, Jürgen Mage. Yeah, they have to find out how to choose the stab action, yeah. Distracted by meat box, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the box has to be full of meat. <laughs> yeah, so I was really distracted by that. <laughs> meat box. And there's some whole new SFX in this commentary stream and there, there really is it's gonna be amazing look forward to uh, look forward to uh clicking on that in the future in the chat <laughs> nothing but oh my god that's an image you do need isn't it <laughs> bombastic orc coochie <laughs> Or what? They, or as they say in Leeds, an average Friday night out. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A, bit, you know, a, bit, a bit of northern hatred for my, uh, you know. Uh, that's not hatred. That's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> you pull an orc, then you, you're in the money. Coochie really. <laughs> in Leeds, eh? Yeah. Orcs are pretty hot up north. <laughs> <laughs> that scene in Lord of the Rings, you know, people people were getting excited in the crowd. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, uh, nothing like. Uh, oh my, let's, let's not go down the destroying a ring route. Um, <laughs> it's a bit too soon for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm sat on my rubber like, ring cushion as I speak. <laughs> That's actually the fucking truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Don't, don't fall down stone steps while holding a 600 pound uh, speaker. Mm. Are, is this one turn ruined? My ass than the speaker, to be honest. Yeah, Jesus. Hey, didn't yeah, he's not trying for it. I guess he was just hoping for a hoping for a uh, mm. hoping. Yeah, he's, he's got to stand firm. Sorry, yeah, it is ruined because the bodyguards have got to stand firm. Oh, sure. So they literally can't push them. So yes, the one turn is ruined. So he did he did choose to just completely deny it, right? And then with these being backlined, they probably shouldn't have been backlined. They probably should have been like. Um, you know, either six or seven squares back to six, seven or eight, um, so that they could have reacted a little bit better to a uh, riot. Uh, it's called a timeout now. So they could have been a bit further forward to react to a timeout, but um, yeah, the, the three stand firm completely stops the one turn. Um, so obviously Question. just, just going to punch people. Answer. Juggernaut, if you do a multi-block, if you sorry, multi-chain into two stand firms with Juggernaut, can you push back both the stand firm players you can on blood ball three you can't in the rules <laughs> right okay <laughs> yeah just showing my extensive knowledge of 
yeah, a skill that I literally have never used in my whole Blood Bowl career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm gonna have to start using it. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing Underworld a lot. Um, maybe in Blood Bowl three as well. But what I'm probably gonna do in Blood Bowl three is like play different races to you know like to make YouTube content, and uh, and I think my practice is gonna come on Fumble with Underworld. So uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna learn how to play Underworld because they're just the best team, and I didn't take them because I'm not you know very experienced with them so i you know i thought i'm not going to play as well with underworld as i am with dwarves so maybe it's better to play dwarves to get the most out of them and then some people probably five people used underworld in this when they really shouldn't have and they weren't very good at underworld you know not as good as underworld as they would be with other teams and they took them because they thought underworld was the best and they just have underperformed in my opinion Elliot being the exception because he is an underworld expert so there you go yeah, a little bit. It was more the other five, Dwyer. It was. My, I think I was justified by the other five, right? You look at the other five people using Underworld, and they they just did not play them well. There was really bad one turn attempts. There was, you know, just loads of of play that was just not. No one was near Elliot's level in Underworld play, to be honest. Was fouling one of the stand firm linemen a good option there? Probably not, because you've only got eleven players. Yeah, and, uh, and for me to say no, that that's quite a big thing. But isn't yeah, it? the bottom line is, playing with elves is super risky anyway because literally all these elves are valuable players, aren't they? Yeah, even the assassins. Um, so if you're going to go foul heavy with an elf team, then you're a psycho, and I have nothing but respect for you. But yeah, it's not the done thing. The the problem okay. the problem with fouling if they had eleven players, then probably maybe right because the these bodyguards are like worth. 110k and your lineman's worth 70 so if they only had 11 players then maybe it's worth it right because they've got stand firm and wrestle and guard they're like the really good players but when he's got two reserves like you're not affecting the numbers you're, you're just yeah, affecting the player quality it, yeah. yeah so you you would get a benefit in player quality if it worked but it's just yeah i think i think that makes it not worth it having rerolls, uh, having reserves with reserve and it depends how desperate you think you are to win this right like this is Crucifer with with them, so it's a bit different. It does change things. Like Crucifer's really, really good at Blood Bowl, so so you know your your answers to questions and plays should be different because it's Crucifer than if it was somebody who wasn't Crucifer. Basically, your this risk profile changes. This is brutal. This is brutal. It is, yeah. The ball could bounce the ball on pick. the other side. Oh well, they could pick. Or would that be a touchback? Which it is. Touchback. Oh yeah, Bore Piff really yeah. needed a touchback there. Really yeah. needed a touchback. Yeah. So now his blitzer has the ball. And yeah, so really lucky the, getting the defen defense isn't as good now, right? Because he moved them up. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, the assassin Whoa. did stab. Gone yes! instant Kaz. Death. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Blood! <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry. <laughs> oh wow. I, I just had Dungeons and Dragons flashback then, you know, when you saw something shiny and you yeah. literally murdered a pole to get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Stubby stab. My my favourite thing will forever be the investigation on the on the, on the horses. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a dead horse. <laughs> oh, so look at that clever by Cruz. Yeah, well, not that clever. Um, he didn't use fend so that he would get a block back, but then it does mean that he gets an extra hit on anyway. So I don't know. I don't know that that was good to not use fend there. Uh, not on an armor seven, Jim. Um, you know, there's a reasonable chance that the player's going to get removed. Yeah, exactly. Plus, he gets to blitz the blitzer anyway, right? So he doesn't even get the free yeah. hit out of it. So yeah, I think yeah. it was a bit oh. shit to not to not. For, and yeah. Yeah, didn't like that. Didn't like that from Chris. But uh, don't hate them, Super G. Don't hate them, right? Don't hate them. Is is the best I can say. Um, used to hate them with a burning passion. Yeah. Um, but not so much now. 
Yeah. And, and, but this yeah. is 20, no 24 gym, isn't it? It's a whole new Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> a Jimmy Fantastic that doesn't absolutely loathe Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't it? And this tournament itself, he took the both down because he was armor 7 and he gets kicked right in the dick because of it. That was. That was a weird. Thing. I guess because he's he's got fend and he's gonna push oh, him to there. But that's really weird. Yeah, he, yeah, he appled it. Yeah, he appled it. But that's. I mean, just shows how brilliant Cruz is, isn't it? You know, he thought that was stupid well, to get an extra block, and then it turns out, you know, yeah, uses up the a 4D chess from Crucifer right there, Jim. Who are we <laughs> to say whether that was the right or wrong thing to do? But it was shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And, you know, it's nothing personal against Borpiff, but, yeah, that was shit, mate. <laughs> in, the con- in the bigger scheme of things, you know, in the 16 turns, I think Borpiff has played all right. Just yeah, he has, yeah. Yeah, of course. Caused Chris a lot of problems. Called Chris a lot of problems, yeah. and Chris did well to get the answers to them, I thought. Yeah. Asked a lot of questions. Just unlucky he was up against Cruz who had the answers. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people would have been found wanting in that situation, for sure. Lots of people wouldn't, wouldn't have scored on their offence there. Probably most people in this 56-man tournament would not have scored there. Hello, Hargrim. Hargrim, how are you doing? Huh? <laughs> huh? Wow. Sorry, I was, I, I was watching the game. I was like so wow. entertained by what was going you, on. You were for about two and a half minutes, didn't you? That's what you did. Just <laughs> I <then>. did. <laughs> I was completely <laughs> zoned <laughs> out. Before I better talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was disassociated, you okay? But I... everything, weren't you? Just, come on. Let's be honest. <laughs> I actually got a new gaming chair, and it's it's very nice. It's one of those ergonomic ones, and it has a footrest and everything. Oh, it's so comfy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the meat. I got the meat sweats, and I was just knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I thought we should have seen that much yeah. beat in this game. <laughs> yeah, do bit. Last you're, you're right. or, wait, do wait, bit. wait, wait, wait. Um, <laughs> should have, um, <laughs> have should have cage dive with an assassin. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Or, or at least the witch, right? At least the witch, like, you know, he went for the witch. I thought he was going to go for the witch dive, and he just didn't, did he? He just went for a cage corner. I didn't think that was good enough. No. Yeah. As Crucifer so ably proved with the very easy dodge. Yep. Fuck off, you cocksucker. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Hello, Monkins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get rid of these sweary commands. I don't. I'm not sure. I you like have ditched a few of them, in yeah. There's there's a couple you've ditched. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, in your mission to uh, go full witchy sunak and be more accessible to the masses. Wait, you're a family friendly streamer now? No. Uh. <laughs> no. I mean, you've been here for this cast, trend. Do you think this was family friendly? <laughs> <laughs> involved in worse commentary streams, Jim. Just that's say. true, that's very true. Yeah. That's true, yeah. No, no, it's okay. We, 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 can, we can still talk about everything, but... um, Like Orc Coochie. Yeah, Orc Coochie. Orc Coochie. <laughs> orc All I see is Coochie. <laughs> All cooch, no orc. <laughs> new SFX, just saying. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all four blitz. Wait, 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 which team? Humans, four blitz. Yeah, yeah, you got to take four blitzes. Yeah, yeah. Four, four blitzes. You got to take four blitzes. You got to take a catcher as well to get a sneaky get dirty player. ASAP. You need a sneaky get to it, you play as soon as you can. Honestly, humans are one of the better teams in Blood Bowl now, just due to the fact that oh, turn amazing. one, yeah, yeah, turn game one, your catcher scores two touchdowns, get sneaky get. Game two, your catcher scores one or two touchdowns. Game three, they score one or two touchdowns, and then you've got a sneaky get to it, you play, and you have the best weapon in Blood Bowl after like two or three games. Really yep. nice. So, Chris maxing blocks. That is one dumb big guy. Yeah, it really is, yeah. 
The problem with that it is, is the, it needs a double. The 2024 equivalent of Clawpom. It is, yeah, yeah. The the problem with the fling is right. It need it's it's a double for the dirty player, whereas the catcher gets dirty player and sneaky get on both. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Straight lace, family friendly, and in the fortress gutter gym street. Thank you very much. That's a a great compliment. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but coochie. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, uh, three quarters of that Andy's uh, <laughs> chat population coming in, coming in hard to uh, find out more about these boobies? And uh, we're talking about uh, hairy Nuts. trim boxes and meat cubes and reach arounds. Brilliant. Yeah. Reach around. That's so good. That is yeah, that so was good. genius. That was actual genius. I was like, I did well to not die then, honestly. That was like, I mean, I did die a little bit, didn't I? But I, it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been worse, believe me. Oh dear. Yeah, the pe the thing, the, the sad thing about penetration is it is perfect. It perfectly is what it is, right? It should be the proper term, but it's just impossible not to laugh and be stupid when you talk about it. It's, it's, it's you know, it's not annoying, but it's unfortunate, isn't it? It's unfortunate. I think it's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Is going this far on the sideline bad this early in the round? Wait. Oh, that was his. Uh, that was his lineman. I, I, I think it's bad for elves. Is it? It's it's elves. It's you. You get a lot, a lot more sort of wiggle room um, with elves running a sideline, just due to their mobility. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, the, the, so the thing with elves is right. What, what it's doing for the elves is. They don't want to get pinned on the sideline. As long as you don't get pinned on the sideline, it's it's okay. Oh my god, and he's cast. Um and it's given you opportunities to like get surfs right with your blitzes and stuff, uh, with your witch elves. But versus these, he's got his two bodyguards, you know, with stand firm and so he's it's not so good against knobs because they do get to hold the sideline. But versus other teams, you know, it might get you might get your frenzy it might get you surf opportunities and stuff. And um so it's better versus other teams, but but as long as you don't get pinned to the sideline, it's it's fine to go there early. But the danger is getting pinned, um, so I guess that's why he's dodging this guy out, trying to you know keep his options open. Thank you, one day. It's going to be super difficult to pin these elves down now, being two men down on yeah. the pitch. It, yeah. That's going going men down against elves is just horrible. <laughs> it's horrid. So you're saying you're saying he's, he's got to pin down, down the elves and get their knobs up in there? <laughs> Honestly. It just leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake, Kelsey. <laughs> keep up with Tren, all right? Under the coattails here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You can 1D the ball here, look. Oh, he's not doing it, though. He's not doing it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, dear me. Is he going to serve? I'm not sure. It's all. Imagine if we've done all this without Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy would love this, wouldn't he? He's going to have to watch this stream. He'd love it. He'd love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck me. So yeah, that is that is anyway. You were completely right there. Although I just broke down laughing because of calcium, you are completely correct, Trent. Yes, the, uh, the humans do need the knobs. Sorry, not the humans. The knobs need to need to pin down the elves. Yep. I mean, this is looking pretty pinned down, does it not? Uh, he's, he can always go out the. He can always <laughs> God. He can, can always use the back door. That's the thing. Right? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is the thing. If this was orcs, they're pinned down completely, right? This is horrendous for orcs. But elves can just be like, let's roll a million two pluses, and now we're over here, and all of your team is over there, and we're all over here. So I think this nice is looking little surf there. Yeah, that nice little Christopher surf. looked hard for that surf there. Yeah. Christopher was looking to chain surf the elf, uh, the witch elf. Yeah. Um, didn't have the chain on the witch elf, so yeah, manufactured that really nicely. Yeah, but look at that. I mean, instantly Bo Piff has done that, right? Like, 10 seconds in, he's already moved the ball over here. Like, this is... The this old is switcheroo. Yeah. 
You can it even all reach around. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look at this. You can even four two through here or like chain the witch. You could blitz and chain the witch there to get around it too. So maybe you maybe you chain the witch out there and this guy just blocks. Oh but he's got fend. <gasps> so he probably shouldn't have moved the ball. Oh he kinda had to. Inter interesting, you can do lots of things from here. Lots of things that he can do. Yeah, this looks this look oh god, another Oosh. care he's oh, done nice. now. He's Oosh. done. So he got he got that serve, but he's done now. This is this 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 yeah. drive is over. I think. Barring like you know, snake eyes. This switch can just move. Not based. He can one thirty six off. And then this guy can Oh so maybe no, maybe the witch elf blitzes, right? And then that frees him. So yeah, maybe the witch elf blitzes. So and, Jim, uh, we're just moving a little bit into uh, another removal or two and I, I, I know the early I, I was going to say the early score but really for the early score you've got to be scoring by next turn haven't you to be fair yeah no I, yeah yeah I think it's too late for the quick score now yeah yeah shame though isn't it because yeah another removal or two even and you're like yeah push for the regulation time win yeah could have done could have done I there's wouldn't. No real need. But yeah, it would it'd be yeah. rowdy. It would be rowdy, wouldn't it? But yeah. there was, so there's no need for it. But yeah, it would have been an option. But yeah, I mean, that... is that because elves are better at defense, or? Yeah, they just can. Like they can, right? Like mm. if it was an orc team, you just can't turn them over and go two 0 up. But elves can turn you over and go two 0 up. So sometimes they'll try and do it. Um, if it was tabletop, he would try and do it, right? If it was tabletop, he would have played it probably differently and tried to get forward quicker and, you know, go for the win. It doesn't matter if he loses. Because on yeah, tabletop, so you have to what win. What was saying was um, elves love the D when they're, when they're down on them. So, you know, when, they're, when the knobs are down, mm. they love it. Okay. <laughs> I was able to follow that. Thank you, Kaz. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I, I see how I need to talk to get through to you, Trent. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll bear that in mind in future. <laughs> you just got to dumb it down a little bit for me. Okay. Oh, dear. Timmy does, does love cock more than knobs. That's true. <laughs> Even though, even though Cock is so mean to him. <laughs> oh my god, well, there we go. Needed that. Yeah, um, he really so did. Crucifer re went for the armor seven there. I was hoping to get a chip. Yep, and it was eight. Look, it was eight on the armor. And that is yeah. why um, assassins are not... The favourite player, but then you know one of the assassins made a cast, didn't he, on the uh, on the lineman? So you know one, you know one for one. Assassins is one too many, though, isn't it, Jim? Yeah, I, I don't like assassins just for that reason, right? They're a weak link that can be targeted. And, Why uh, are they bad again? They're armor seven. Well, it's oh yeah, so the stat lines change now, right? They're not they're not armor seven. They're armor eight plus because that's what you have to roll. Yeah, because you know. Yeah, so a, a normal... Like actually, we're, we're just so used to the old stat line, aren't we? Yeah. I, in, you know, on balance, I think the new stat line is probably a more sensible stat line, but we're just so used to the old one. Um, we have to do that... Comp it's like speaking another language, isn't it? You <laughs> yeah. sort of tra you translate it to English in your head, do you know what I mean? And we translate it to old armor value money in our head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. No, you don't try and do you? just sit there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm following. <laughs> try and relate it to really cock nice. somehow. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I see, I see. Because it's like it, you have to roll, the enemy has to roll that to pass it. Yeah. Correct. No, yeah. that makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah it's better. Yeah. It's better. I, it's I was better. able to follow. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. And especially the edge is so much better, right? Edge, you just looked up on a chart for no reason. It was a completely, a completely pointless extra step. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it was just. There was the, it was just insane that, that you had to look up your edge on a chart, just make that the the default thing. So that's what they did. It was actually insane, like that the the role that you looked up edge on a chart kind of thing. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ, Crystal, I think we'd need a good couple of games to talk Trent through the pass in <laughs> Meta, own club ball free. Jesus, I don't, I, I don't even understand it. Honestly, who does anyone understand the passing meta? Actually, more the question is, does anyone use the passing meta in Blood Bowl 3? Not really, not really. I, I, I did explain that passing has got a lot worse. Um, and one of the reasons is, yeah, they've made a passing stat now. So you can see, oh, Adj 2+, plus, yeah. PA yeah, is, is that plus. the PA? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, so it does, did it used to go off of agility, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. So so PA4 plus is like being an agility 2 at passing in the old rules. So like orc bli uh, dark elf blitzers throw as well as like orc blockers used to throw. It's so okay, stupid. Yeah. It's so stupid. So yeah, you passing those is days, Trent, terrible When you now. used to get a war dance, give it Agi 5 and then be an absolute knobhead because you're unbeatable. <laughs> you remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Listen, that is a laugh of an agility fed war dancer giving you the bird as he leaps over you and scores in your end zone. <laughs> in your end zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tags. He tags the. Uh, that's an interesting tag. Not what I would have done. Maybe he did it because he was running out of time. Because he's down to three minutes of uh, of time bank now. But that's like. That's a brave tag, right? Like, I would have much rather try to dodge out with this guy and tag the ogre. Because then, you know, like, it, you, it's essentially the same. Right? It's essentially the same. One's getting 2 deed and one's getting 2 deed. But this guy's getting 2 deed by Mighty Blow and he's the blitzer. So that's a bit strange. Yeah, what is the ogre doing anyway? Even if you didn't tag it, what is it doing? Yeah. Running towards those elves? Which... Big decision from Cruz. Eating that. Yeah, I think yeah. he does. I think he realises this half is over. It's 1-1. One, one. And he has to play for overtime now. It's sad. It's sad, yep. but it's true. Yeah, it's sad, but it's true. But, you know, it's sad because you've got to make the decision then, right? Before that, you can trick yourself that you've got a chance of stopping him. But what, but when you take that, that, that's taking that skull is admitting that you've, you've, lost the, you've lost the drive and it's, it's going to be 1-1. One, one. So it, it is a tough one to take. And I understand the, uh, the pause before doing it. Oh, so he doesn't stand firm on the first one, so that he cannot stand firm on the second one. Is the idea there? Like, I think if he'd been powered, he would have stood firm. But, uh... Interesting. <laughs> Why is the drive over? <laughs> because he just, like, he can't stop now, right? He, he, the, he, if he thought he could have stopped... The dark elf st scoring, he would have re-rolled it because oh, if okay. he can, if he can win, what like you know, if he can stop the drive, he wins one nil, right? So if he thinks there's any chance of him stopping the drive, he re-rolls to try and stop the drive and win and, and win one nil. Oh, but nice he just, power he, there. yeah, lovely power. He just knows, he just knows yeah. that he can't like that. So it, is it, there an argument for him taking that re-roll and? Taking those last few players that could still move, wrapping them around and like forcing him to score early. To yeah. then try and do a what two? Well, he, three turn. Yeah. So that's what he. That, so that exactly. That's the assessment that he had to make. How realistic it was that him re-rolling and then trying that, and obviously he assessed that that wasn't going to happen. So that that was that was the thing, right? Like that's the assessment you got to make. That, that is a, yeah. you know well done. See, well done, Trent. See, incisive, smart. Not good at counting, but can grasp the concepts of Blood Bowl very good. Brain. <laughs> Big brain trend. So there you go. And that, so that, that is exactly it. That is what he had to, that is the assessment he had to make before he re-rolled okay. it. And the, the fact that he didn't re-roll it, he's made the assessment that there's nothing he could have done, could have stopped the score basically. Because if, if he thought he could have stopped the score, he would have re-rolled it and he would have tried. But now he feels yeah, really good. Skills. Now he oh, feels really just, good that he didn't re-roll it, doesn't he? Because that, that if he'd re-rolled in a dub skills, he also he would have been in just a shitter position and down a re-roll. <laughs> so I think, um, I think Crucifer's defense here it, it was a token defense at that point anyway it was a rolling assessment wasn't it if yeah. things had gone really well instead of rolling skulls if you'd rolled a double power and then double six to remove the player then crucifer would have reassessed on the spot yeah. but i i think going into it it was only a token defense anyway wasn't it yeah yeah hello Arian. indeed indeed <laughs> No. 
Hoggers. Great emote. One of the best emotes on Twitch there, by the way. <laughs> Just quietly. I don't think I've ever used that emote. Um, and the amount I pay you, Jim, on a monthly basis, I don't think I'm going to have to start and get my money's worth. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should look. There you go. That's... Although, hey, this, this stream alone is, is you know, that, that, that's persuaded me to subscribe for another 12 months. Just saying. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> yep, there you go. I can do a shout out, can't I? There you go. If you if you want if you want the best if you want the best uh, emote on Twitch, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh wow, was my last stream really D and D? Ah, that yeah. was like months ago. Yeah. Wow. Months and months. <laughs> Sad. Mississippi really got to me. Not gonna lie, I was so depressed down there. And then I was just stressed out with school and everything. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. But now. Happy and back to Blood Bowl to bring you back down again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the, the, soul, the soul come right emote. Yeah, I forget that that's a thing. <laughs> what the fuck I, is that? It's, it's, I can't even see what it is. That, that's why I get away with having it as an emote. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's Splinter. I think it's Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, offering you a pizza. Pizza. Yeah, he's just offering <laughs> you a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most niche uh, niche emotes there is because just because Sol uh, posted it one night in Arts Movie Club, and I was like, "That's brilliant! I'm going to make it an emote." <laughs> so there you go. It's just a pizza. There's no extra special toppings. <laughs> oh man, he's rolled so bad this half, Cruz. My God, and another double skull! <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> imagine, imagine if he'd re-rolled that double skull and then tried to defend and just rolled more doubles, rolled three double skulls and a stupid ogre. My God, what a what a great seven skulls in the last three turns, Jim. Yeah, I think three in a row. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Wow. Yeah, and then the the one of the ogre. Oh my god. Oh my god. But if he That's wins the brutal. toss, he's all right. If he wins the toss, he's probably all right. I mean, not all right. He's probably all right. He's only down the lineman with guard. He's not down a he's not down a blocker with guard. And if he gets this guy back on a 50-50, the elves are down one player. So yeah. So yeah, I think if Chris wins the toss, he's all right. Oh. Dear. Oh, those dice, holy shit. The RNG is just stuck, isn't it? Like there's there's a there's a kind of a meme, isn't there, of the uh of the little demon doing the RNG. If anybody knows that, it's very neat, very niche, probably no one's seen it. And I should have stopped talking. I do miss a good RNG rant, Jim. <laughs> I do not I don't do them. I don't do them. I'm uh I am completely because it's fucking pointless, that's why, isn't it? I am it is unflappable. So absolutely pointless. I am unflappable. I, I, yeah, I, there are no dice. I am completely unfaithable. Yeah, art, art runs enough for literally every other <laughs> football streamer about <laughs> dice. <laughs> Another dodgeless block! <laughs> a one in a thousand chance! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, exactly, Wanderer. Right, up, exactly. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good that, that like, he'd made that decision and then just then rolled them all after the drive was lost. Like, that was great timing. Yeah. Great timing on them. Are you speaking in... Of, um, speaking oh. of Blood Bowl Legends, is uh, Rick playing Blood Bowl 3? I see he's pokering right now, but um, is he... Oh. Is he... Dipping his toe into blood bowl at all? Time out, time out. Cruz might win Shh. it in normal time. Um, and he's got three re-rolls. Uh, Sorry, let's get back to the game a minute, yeah. Yeah, no, Rick, Rick, Rick's given up. He, he, he's got like he's got RSI, um, so he uses a controller, and the controller support is terrible. So he's just given up on it until until they make the controller better. Fuck me, Jim. As if playing Blood Bowl isn't bad enough, it physically injures you as well as <laughs> mentally injures you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Dimmy's here in the chat. Hello, Dimmy. Dimrath. What a legend. Dimmy. He, he heard there were knobs and he couldn't resist. <laughs> Dimmy, you so need to watch this stream, honestly. I'm Fuck off, Dimmy. At points, I've been crying with laughter. Like, <laughs> it's been insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, yeah, it was an amazing. Controllable not fetish, Jim. Uh, Jim, Jim, uh, Dimmy. Oh, Jim. Stream, Jim. Sorry, mate. That's the private chat. <laughs> we're all about we're all about knobs and coochies and packing them with meat. Oh, meat cubes. <laughs> Fantastic. Love some good meat. <laughs> Oh god! And uh, yes, it was something like that. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, and look, you know, this is how exactly what I said about Cruz should have set up further forward in case of a riot. So should uh, Bopif, right? Cruz was never going to score a one turn. So put you guys on this line or whatever, right? I will defend. Yeah, you deny you deny them the opportunity to do exactly Jimmy. what they've done here. Yep. <laughs> Multiple scoring threats, and yep. your your. Um, your elves down now, aren't you? You're an elf. Wait, well, actually, it's equal numbers right now, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the pass. W yes. Why? Yes. Oh, because I guess he wants it. Just but this this guy's free. Hmm. Interesting. I, I guess because he couldn't protect the ball, and at least this is a blodger. So if he if he does the two D on him, he's pushing him yeah. forward because he's directly behind. So he's pushing him forward, and if he doesn't power him, well, I would think he'd do try and power him. So I guess he's dictating whether well, it seems. But then I guess these are unmarked a bit. I don't know. Yeah, in blodge we trust. I think you probably got to reroll this for Boopif yeah. as well. Four. Four. A bit rowdy. Oh, see, Ross, thank oh, you very much. Staying sure. fantastic for over one who will be a pregnancy. Absolutely glorious. Wait, one what? Beaver pregnancy. Beaver pregnancy? Have you, has it been so long that you've forgotten about beaver pregnancies, Tran? Yeah. That's been like a whole thing for years on my channel. What is, what is, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> It could have been from breakfast and Trent would have still forgotten it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what the fuck? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, not remembering the whole beaver pregnancy thing is um, pretty insane. Uh, I think that's yeah. worthy of a yellow I card. Don't, I don't, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I'm looking forward to Trent talking about the beavers, to be honest. <laughs> The beavers in the trees? Is that what we're going to talk about? <laughs> the beavers in the trees? <laughs> it's like the birds and the bees. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so for a long, long, a long, long time ago, somebody, I don't, I forget who it was now, um, subscribed, and it was the fourth month he'd been a subscriber, so he said, that's a beaver pregnancy, and then, like, you know, we found out that a beaver pregnancy was four months, and he moved this guy first? And he moved everybody else first? What in the blue fuck has he done? What? Yeah. You have to have Isn't somebody it? to, like, a witch elf could have just three Pick plus bolt, got it. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's mad. Oh, that's mad. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Flip me, like he had to. So he can, he can, like, this guy can run up and he can block this guy free. Potentially, like if he pals. Um, and then he could just get a free run in with him. And then, all he, then he can use his blitz and everything to sort all this out and pick up the ball and hand it off to him. You know, ah. I think the worst thing about that exchange then just jim um and you know the the comment you made about that was the pity in your voice that you had <laughs> I, I could if you was commentating on one of my games right i could handle anger right <laughs> was pity in your voice then wasn't there like pure unmoderated pity <laughs> it's almost like you wanted to give bore Bo piff a hug you know <laughs> and, you know, fucking brutal man honestly that's, that's a step too far that's a yellow 
you as well, good sir. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, of course I remember my friend that can write with her toes. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The Tingers. I remember. See, I remember Tingers. I remember yeah, tingers, tingers and you don't remember Beavers. Like, what fingers. the hell? I don't remember Beavers. Yeah, no, I don't remember that at all. That's outrageous, Trent. That's outrageous, man. I remember Tingers and you don't remember Beavers. Toe fingers. fingers. <laughs> tingers. <laughs> tingers was hilarious. Can you write with your toes? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do you know I I, 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 you know, I actually can write with my toes as well as I can write with my left hand, which is to say, not really. Ooh. No, he puts in the reroll. Puts in the reroll. That, that's no, fair. I don't, know that, no. I don't know about that. I don't know. That's fair. He's got three, right? It's a three four three. You put the reroll in at every stage, and you're very likely to score there and just win. Yeah. Now he's fifty yeah. fifty to lose, and he's lost. Did he have more rerolls? Yeah, he had three rerolls. Yeah, so he just but he put in one, and he would have he could have rerolled the four and the three and the two, right? He, like he had a he had two more rerolls to use in the same action. That's a that's a big thing yeah. with the uh, with the multiple rerolls. If you if you could in Blood Bowl two and you can only only use one reroll, then you probably don't reroll that. You still might. I don't know exactly whether you'd reroll that or not. What would be correct? But with three rerolls, it's a hundred percent reroll it, and then you've got rerolls for the other things as well. Yeah, so. especially in hindsight, you know, having lost the toss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because this is the thing now. If you lose the toss, you, you just fuck. So this is... Uh, um, no, no, he, he would have kept the leader re-roll, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously it was the leader re-roll that he used, but he, he would have... It doesn't give you an extra one, Sith Trooper. But had he not re-rolled it, he would have kept the leader that he had. Um, and... Yeah, like he hasn't Good. lost. It's not over. It's not over, right? He can defend, and it's not golden goal. If you, if you're familiar with Blood Bowl two, whoever scored first in overtime just wins. It's not like that anymore. So there is a full half. So there is still hope. Yeah. So he, you know, if he can force an early score, he can still come back and score himself. Christ, I didn't know could that. Could he? So he could have used another reroll on that handoff, right? And he just chose not to. No, no, you can't reroll a reroll. Okay. But okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. So, so to score, he had to do a three plus catch, then a four plus dodge. Oh, maybe. I think he had to, and then a three plus dodge, and then a two plus GFI. So in Blood Bowl two, you probably don't re-roll the three plus because you can't re-roll the rest, right? But when you can re-roll the rest, um, rolling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then re-rolling the first one's better, if you see what I mean. Do, do you get that? Oh. Jim. Yeah, yeah. I thought he did re-roll. He re yeah, yeah. So he failed. He f he did fail. He okay, did yeah, fail. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I did follow that. Uh, it was a three four three. It was a three four three two. Actually, it was a GFI as well in Arian. Um, but I, th you know, so yeah, so and he he made the pickup. I don't know if you'd re-roll the pickup, but you probably do. You, with that that whole sequence, you probably re-roll all of it. Because you've got three re rolls and just and just winning wins. If you know that's a stupid thing to say, but you know, scoring that wins the game. And if you don't score that, you might lose the toss here and things might happen in your drive and everything. I don't like the stab um on the LOS. I don't like that at all. No, not it now is. that he's getting stabbed back. <laughs> the fact that that's right. Yeah, the the, fa the failure means goodbye. Eight plus armor in it, you know. It's yeah. uh, you shouldn't be inviting hits on your people. No, it was. Uh, I mean, he got unlucky with it. No, yeah, he got he got unlucky that he got the uh, he got the stiletto on that guy that was base. But you still just dodge off, right, and don't give up the hit yourself. Or he can he can he doesn't have to reroll this. He can let this one go. But yeah, I mean, instant stab. I'm sure Chris will do first action stab. Well, I'm not that sure actually, but he sh he should do. <laughs> Stab him. That the, it's a, it's a it's a uh, it's a it's a bodyguard, but yeah, he got a he might not be, know how to stab. <laughs> he might give up. He literally might give up because he doesn't know how to stab. Um, I think is it is it it's at random, isn't it? I think stiletto is just at random. Yep, he worked it out. He worked it out. See, look at this. What a difference. 
Cruise. They're having a knife fight. They're, they're going under siege, aren't they? <laughs> under siege. <laughs> oh no! Another double skull. Wow. So the skull count is up to game. nine. Yeah, man, he's rolled so many double skulls, Cruise. Holy shit! Man, what a difference, though, isn't it? That Cruise just instantly stabs, and then. Bo, Piff and Asherim took forever to stab <laughs> and he's just like instantly let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's stabbing with his knob, yeah, I mean that's an obvious, obvious thing to do, isn't it? Don't need to think about that at all. <laughs> to hell the with the consequences. That, um, <laughs> the amount of skulls that Crucifer has rolled here, it would break a lesser Blood Bowl player, wouldn't it? It would absolutely break them. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good point. Cruz got one of the best mental of anybody in in the game, hasn't he? So, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's being tested here though, because these are some <laughs> shocking dice. Crucifer's training yeah, regime is looks exactly like the Rocky IV training regime with Ivan and Drago, um, including the performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> Except it's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Those three right back to back were insane. Completely nuts, yeah. That's, I've, I'm not sure I've seen anything that bad, but just so lucky in a way that he, he decided not to reroll the first one because then he could happily eat the rest. <laughs> at least the rest weren't killing him at that point. I like this brilliant screen here from Boa Piff. He's done the correct thing of no bobble box, right? If, he, if they were one back, as you see some people do, then he could fail the pickup, it could bounce off them, and they could fail the catch and it could come out. So, I mean, better would be two above, right? Two above would be better. So, because now he could fail the pickup, it could go there or there, and then they could get blitz and scattered it. So, actually, technically better, two higher is better, but one away is at least better than not one away. Bubble box, I love that show. Mm. I love Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Like is, I um, love eat glass. Yeah, this, I, I was just thinking to myself, then the elves on that block, they 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 could just do with a token removal here, couldn't they, to make them feel make themselves feel a little bit better? Because yeah. although although it's their offense right now, they're somewhat on the back foot, aren't they? They are, yep. Yeah. I mean, they're instantly on the back foot. No, knobs are pretty good, right? You've, oh god. Yeah. You got, you got knobs in your face. That's knobs in knobs in your face. You know, puts you under pressure. You've got to react. <laughs> When they're slapping you around, honestly, is, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so we've, we've developed into some kind of shitty half dacker here, which is, which is fair enough, right? It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not as good as a real dacker, but it's, uh, it's something. He has to go an extra one back, right? When, in fact, he had to go... This guy had to be two back, and he had to be another one back, because at, at the moment, what... Uh, Cruz has is a, is a block blitz into an ogre 3D, right? Uh, might, it, and he might not go for it, but I still wouldn't want to give him the chance of it. You're going to probably have to deal with that assassin now, aren't you, Jim? You might have, might have to, yeah. Pretty annoying. It is, it is oh, super yeah, annoying, but threat. you can't leave that assassin, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's tough. It's really tough. Uh, this is the problem, right, like against elves, because... If you let him score, I mean, he can first of all he can stall out. You've you've got to put something back there so he can't stall out with it. I guess the good thing is it's not easy to pass to him now anymore, is it? Yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> just you the what the one thing though Chris, crystal is don't neglect the balls as well right that's the thing you've got to, <laughs> got to, you've got to remember <laughs> oh so he, he brings back the guard there flip me <laughs> jeebus wait did he Oh, did he blitz with he blitz with the blitzer? He blitz with his blitzer ages ago. So. Christopher is basically saying, "Go for the pass, mate." <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least he's got something to stop the stall, right? Like that, that. This is a pretty decent way of dealing with it, right? If he bases him, he gets stabbed. 
if he doesn't base him, he's like saying, well, if you, if you, if you get the ball, you can't really stall because I'll stab you. So, yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that from Cruz. It sucks that he's got to take a stand firm guard wrestler out of the fight, but pretty, pretty nice solution to the threat. Yes, wonder, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're invited to the uh, uh, the Blood Bowl free parties, Christoph. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a it's a shame, but yeah, maybe that's what they need. Maybe that's what they need. They, they are they've got a professional commentary team for this uh, for the for the play in you know the playoffs. Final that the the top sixteen have a professional casting team. Um, you know they they might not be as knowledgeable about you know <laughs> knobs and boxes and <laughs> meat cubes, meat cubes, yeah. ogre coochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's hope they've got somebody from Dalos so and they'll at least have an art coochie expert. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We know we don't know who's on it. You know, like Art has speculated that it's like Crendor or Crew, uh, Crendor or Crendor or Canor with like then like you know with like a hype man. That that's what Art. That's Art's call on it. But, you know, who knows? They might just have their own guys and not have a Blood Bowl specialist. And they might have some of the devs. Who knows? But whatever happening, there is an official cast happening of the oh, is, round of 16. Is games. it the devs that put on this tournament? Um, It's the publishers in conjunction with a esports company. So oh, I imagine the esports company oh. is doing the proper casting, yeah. Do you know which company they went through? I'm really curious because I know. Yeah. I have I, some things to say about some of them. It's common knowledge. It's a French company, so you won't know them probably. Mm, okay. From Montpellier. Um, oh dear, it's Kalon G and Amaranth. There you go. Mm. <laughs> That's what he said. That'll be a show. With a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be a show within a show. <laughs> Lots of I would I, I would Lots like to see that. Coochie in that one. Yeah. I would like to see that. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you, Canals. So there you go. We yeah, can rule out Canals. Amazing, amazing. Just up screen for four hours, teasing that they may appear. That would be excellent. The stab blitz. The stab blitz. The absolute irony of the yeah. assassin getting taken out by a stab blitz. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, Canor. Uh, it was Tommy Lee Jones in that fight. <laughs> to, <laughs> to make it clear, there was no inside information or like implication of that. It was just what it was. Just Art was speculating, right? Art was wildly speculating, thinking, you know, like you're the most kind of professional uh, kind of person among us, right? Like, you know, so you're the obvious one to go for out of regular Blood Bowl streamers, and then. Uh, you know, I don't know why, right? I don't know why they wouldn't want these three. <laughs> but yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, I totally agree. Like if I was to pick anybody, I'd pick I'd pick Kanor as well. Um so that seemed like an obvious thing that could happen. But then obviously Crendor's really big. So so Crendor's an option if you're gonna do that as well. Oh, um, it's going wrong for the uh, for the dark elves now. Isn't it? Yeah, two cars massive. But they might just not bother with a with a with a big name either, might they? Yeah, and like Knorr in it, you think you know it would be Knorr? Yeah. Knorr's beard, if I'm honest, right? His beard is fucking sexy. <laughs> Just saying. It, honestly, I I want to I, I sort of want to touch it in a non-sexual way. But uh, no, I, I, yeah. Why Knorr, non-sexual? Knorr. What's wrong with you? Actually, in a totally sexual way. Yeah, Knorr yeah. won't mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Look, three removals now with that surf. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could do worse than invite the mighty purple chest into the commentary booth as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the fact that we get to listen to purple chest talk without having to pay him money is fucking amazing, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
Do you read I audiobooks, moist, Purple every Chest? Every time I listen to Purple Chest, just moist. Oh, God. Do you know who does? Uh, Troxbirds reads audiobooks. Troxbirds really? is... Yeah, he's that a Blood Bowl be. streamer. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Troxbirds, Blood Bowl streamer. He was Gary the, the, in... Uh, in uh, the Hawkeye series. He was also a like a small part in Cobra Kai, and uh, and he streams football and does lots of audio books. Yep, pretty cool, eh? Mm. Happy at Cobra Kai, Jim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So now this is a nightmare. The three removals in one turn, and now he's only got eight players. And yeah, uh, it's, it's looking bleak. Seven, now, sorry, it? seven, seven players, and it looks bleak. And Bo Piff is thinking, why didn't I dack her? Or he may, may not, not be, but he should be. <laughs> and this is the back of Cruz rolling an absolute fuck ton of skulls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Snake eyes, snake eyes, snake eyes. <laughs> Hello, Purple It's like Chess. eels and ladders. <laughs> um, sadly, I suppose the joke has passed. But I was going to answer Tren with, no, no, I don't do audio books. I listen to them, dear. That's how they work. <laughs> um, yes, I have done a couple of audio books for the business to business market, so nothing you'd want to go out, no fiction. Um, there really isn't very good money in it, and nowadays AI is um, in seconds. There's good know, money in it if you're a well known name. Even, even for like those smutty romance books that like <laughs> we all pay $30 <laughs> an audiobook for, say like. $30, you, yeah, what if you say we all? <laughs> of course, you're an expert on this, <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, you're asking me to do, you know, to sit in the booth for several hours going, and she drinks chocolate, sensual, <laughs> throbbing chest. Actually, yeah, yeah, actually, I'd pay for that. <laughs> we might have a man down soon here if calcium hears too much of this. I'm, 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 <laughs> Simply, my dear, the money isn't in it. You can't afford me. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> oh, he didn't follow. Why didn't he follow? Oh, because why didn't he follow? Oh my Can god! Can you imagine, like, chat saying Fifty Shades of Knobs, just some horrendous, like, fanfic about Blood Bowl and <laughs> PC? <laughs> Oh yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Rocks on it, rocks on a dark nail and griff all the wall. Roxana and Griff's eyes met across the field. He was gonna blitz her. Oh, but she had the hots for him. He she was gonna let him stomp her down, thrust her into the ground, and foul her badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, is he gonna stab? Is he gonna stab? I think he's gonna stab. I think he's gonna blitz stab. He's I think he's 100% blitz stabbing, by the way. Yeah. Oh god. Flip me, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think put, whack the guard in the front, right? I mean, maybe in the side, is it? yeah, maybe in the side, keep them. Oh, I don't know. It's great that this can't go wrong because it's a stab. This is the best thing about it. Slight pause as he battles with the UI. He gets the AV break. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually crying. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. As you said, Jim, the best thing about that particular assault was that the fail state was excellent. Even if it didn't break, you're still left with exactly the same cage with all the elves in exactly the same position. You're not pushing him any further clearer with the ball. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Your knobs are right in their face. Yeah, and, and loads of bounce through options, and that's what we saw, the ball bouncing through where it could be safely collected. Yeah. So you don't go for the pick-up with a peasant? No, no, Blodger. Blodger, no. isn't it? Blodger. Of course, yeah. Blodger, Miss sure Blodgerson. Peasant, yeah, and the Blodger goes picks up. Maybe you can go yep. back like a couple of squares to be safe from witch shenanigans. He's done yeah, one, exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind going back. Oh he's got stand firm anyway, so doesn't matter. Yeah, between those two and ahead of the witch is exactly where I'd have gone. Yeah. Uh... Spot on, lovely turn. <laughs> so there's a slim hope here. Um the the dark elf um 
just underneath the ogre, uh, four plus three, uh, sorry, three plus two plus out into a one D. Yep. Yeah. He could, he could block here, go there, and then he could one D here, and then he could leap over, well, not leap, jump over, and get out that way. But it's not good, is oh, it? Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole jump thing. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, is there a way to get a jump here? But it's it's not the easy. The problem, of course, is it's the blodge piece. Um, and yeah, he doesn't so you... have to wrestle witches, which you should have. Yeah, so this, this is the problem. So I think I it's think it's getting the wrestle witch to it, isn't it? Yeah. So this is this is the thing. So I think get that there for the assist on a three-two-two, two, probably. Get that there for the assist. 2D him, 1D him, and hope you 1D power him or wrestle him. And then you, you, which gets there with a leap, yeah. A jump, sorry. Yeah. Jump. And then she hits there with 2D. <sighs> I have no idea what you just saw, but sure, that sounds good to me. <laughs> yep, good. <laughs> I mean, it's a hell of a long yep. shot, but it's probably the best plan. <laughs> I just don't see a one die against Blodge as a good use of anything except, you know, a load of grief wasted. Yep. Yeah, in my defense, I said that without a full knowledge of all the rules. Um, <laughs> you know, because it's, for me, I'm sort of a little bit full trend when it comes to not knowing how to play this game much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. I think one would stipulate that Trent maybe never did. So. <laughs> no, tre trend, trend got okay for a bit, PC. Uh, you might have... gave me a run for my money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Played, didn't she? yeah, beat beat Garion and nearly beat you. Yeah, pretty good. Got re really pretty good in a short space of time. And then yeah, it absolutely. Off. It actually goes to show that Blood Bowl was a tough game. If you can master the basics, you're in with a shot in any game. Yeah, it may only be a twenty percent shot, but you've got that shot in any game against the best in the world. Yeah. And then beyond that, learning becomes tougher. But to make those, you know, to get up to that level. It's achievable. It's not easy, but it's doable. Yeah, now we've, now we've definitely the basics. Because oh. you guys still are much better than me at seeing like plays and stuff and chains. Like I sure. just, I'm not at that level at all. But like, especially listening to like your One World One Blood Bowl podcast, that was really helpful of like figuring out like basics and oh, dice you. and all that stuff. Like that was honestly like what made but me. I, mean, better I genuinely mean it. I think once you get to you know you understand what's going on. I think anyone's got at least 20% in any game they sit down at for Blood Bowl. I think that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, honestly, Trend no, got better than that. Trend got better than that. Trend, trend oh, yeah, got yeah. pretty decent. Pretty decent in a very it's short space of time, but then then regressed to, to complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that, Jimmy, is there'll be games then. Trend will sit down and be the 60% you know, favourite in, but mm. the worst she'll probably only ever face with any team is probably about a one in five because anyone can win about one in five in just about any race in a fairly even game there you go give him a knife yeah that's some little. purple goo or you or something you know not yeah so beat me a few times um exactly. and the stiletto yeah the stiletto is it, that the stiletto is is fucking won the yeah. game for Cruz. amazing right like very lucky to get the stiletto but then very unlucky to win the toss so i guess you know balanced in a way really maybe that could it's be a way to balance it's in kicks. vogue at the moment <laughs> in europe to take um, assassins on dark elf teams because of the work that stab is getting through particularly against stunty teams and uh, you know snotlings and things mm. but the problem is assassins are crap and bodyguards yeah. are good so <laughs> bodyguard with a stab amazing it's very good <laughs> <laughs> but you're seeing a lot of troll vomits, which essentially is the same thing, isn't it? What is a yeah. troll vomit? It's basically the same as a stab, except on a one in six, it vomits on itself and ends up stabbing itself. Oh. Yes. And if Cyanide had coded it correctly, you could blitz and then you could move after vomiting, but you can't move after stabbing. So it's it's technically a little bit better than stab in that regard. Oh right, my god. It, yeah. It replaces the block action, doesn't it? Where a stab ends your activation. Yeah, stab has an extra line where you can't carry on moving. Where is yeah, that? But it ends Are there only five? I think Crucifer was deserved and argue the call there, given the <laughs> amount of dub skulls that he's rolled this game. Yeah. yeah. How, how the turns tabled there? Eh? That was that was crazy. Like going into overtime, there was one yeah. Kaz. <laughs> there were three sets of dub skulls, and then he lost the coin toss. And then after losing the coin toss, he got stab, and he made four cars at a KO. <laughs> unbelievable! And then got the argue the call, you know, kind of irrelevantly, but unbelievable! What a what a turnaround! 
Four. Never say it's over, Jim. Yep. Yep, don't say it's over. Yeah, Chris still got plenty of time. I mean, to be fair, Bo Piff has got plenty of time left as well. He he, he kind of, I guess he's got plenty of time left because he didn't get to think for the last X amount of turns as he was just getting wrecked. <laughs> wonder if he should have. Wonder if he should have dackered though, right? Wonder if he should have dackered. Hundred um, percent should have dackered all day. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of the like a lot of the look out of it, honestly, and like you know, probably takes four less cars if he dackers. <laughs> Well, it's just minimising the amount of blocks that you suffer, isn't it? It's yeah. it's really that simple. Yeah. yeah, it's about controlling the field and the space, and sometimes that means giving up a lot of it to control a small portion of it. And as you said, then focusing all of your luck and risk into a single area. And if you're ahead, if you've got the numbers, or if you're really struggling for them, there's good times for the withdrawn offence. It's a, it's a very good time to get some places. Mm. Yeah, he did, he did do an involuntary half-decker, yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask, would there also be an argument for him just trying to score early and then switching it over to being on defense? There, there is, yeah, honestly, if you yeah. like because you're against Cruz. So, you know, if you if you think you can bang it in like if Cruz had let him bang it in early, then there's a good argument for thinking, well, look, I'm not going to beat Cruz, you know, so I might as well get the score on the board and then I'm 50-50 to win at least. And obviously if something happens on defense, then you win anyway. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't have hated scoring early. Wouldn't have Against knobs, them. I would score pretty much whenever I could. They are, they're a resistance team. They're really good at controlling space. They're really hard to move about. They're hard to get space out of and get channels for movement out of. But they're not so brilliant going forward. They've got two very good attacking players going forward and the rest are pretty trash. So they really need the Goga to do some work and the guards to stand firm. Um, so yeah, I, I think bang it in early if you can, but you often can't. Yeah. That's what it's all about with knobs standing firm and banging it in early. Mm -hmm. Take your shot while you can. Mm. Get That's it up there. A little frustrating with the ogre um, going stupid there, isn't it? Yeah, blocking the route. He can he can still blitz though, right? He can still he, he can yeah. still blitz this uh, this blitzer out of the way. Yeah, so. it's it's a, it's um it's an annoyance other than a catastrophe in it. So yeah. Well, he's not well blitzing. I mean. It could Was become worse, of course, because all he's trying to do is move the cage to the other side because he's got oh. a, a turn to kill because we have to stupidly play all the turns out. Yeah. So he, he, he moved the cage. Great. He was going to cage there, so he just re-changed re where he's going to cage. I mean, that was great. Yep. He's got out of re-rolls now, so that's why he didn't do a blitzer or anything. Just changed yep. where the cage was going to be. Really nice, this. Really nice, this, from, from Chris. All on the witch elf. It's because he doesn't want nope. to do a single go for it at all, does he? He just yeah. wants to be... He didn't want to blitz nice, either. Like nice, He's got no nice, re-rolls, nice. so, yeah, so can't afford to blitz or GFI. Just nope. just re redo the cage, even though you already made three corners. <laughs> I mean, you can you can blitz with the final dodge off, hitting the one that's on the guard, and see if you clear the guard, because it's more useful. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, yeah. that would be my only blitz, if I blitzed at all. Yeah. Or you blitz the guard off last. Yeah, yeah, he could have wanted the guard off. <laughs> but he'd rather just sit on it, which is fine too. Mm. Um, Christopher always very controlled, very exact, very, very logical in his thought processes. He can also um, score but, this turn, right? Because Bo Piff only has one turn left, because this was Bo Piff's drive. So if he can score without rolling any dice, he could just bang it in here just to make sure of it. And this, this really, really is. You know, in chat as well, isn't it? Um, better for the elves to score, have scored quickly. Um, yeah. At worst, you're going to get drawn on. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> this is really impressive for the tournament. Borp yep. very, very well known on tabletop. An extremely talented coach. And Christopher, of course, the greatest of all time on Blood Bowl 2. Uh, easily the most winningest and best known. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had that conversation, Purple Chest, and I think there's no doubt. Um, Christopher is the GOAT. Oh, definitely. 100%. But this, is, you know, this is top quality on both sides. Yeah, yeah, oh, played really well here. Look at that, the uh, well, maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't. I, I don't know if he, maybe he didn't. Uh, maybe, maybe he he was gonna just go for the one in thirty six. No, no, I, maybe he miss, maybe he miss, maybe he misclicked. I don't know. I don't know if he misclicked or not on that. I don't know if that was meant to be. I a think stand. he was going in. He did cancelled the assists on that side. If he went in, it was a one in six, wasn't it? But I don't know if he could have just. I don't know if he could have just walked, wandered around. I, I think he might have been close enough to just wander around. So he's just gonna stab. To see if he, you know, to see it or something. Like, you know, just in case, you know, other things. I think that was, 
I think I don't know how close he was. It looked like, I thought he was just going to take a speculative stab and then score. Like I thought he was in range. Right. Um, but if he wasn't in range, then obviously the wrestles seventy five percent to move him, isn't it? Which uh, yeah. which is well, more than that. You know, anything but one thirty six to move him, which is all he needed to do. So yeah, if if he needed the movement, then the blitz was correct. If he didn't need the movement, then he probably misclicked trying to stab. Because <laughs> you know, if you might as well stab first, yes. so he's got four players. If there's a timeout, maybe <laughs> the chance of four players from a timeout. Not so that's the alluring thing about stab, isn't it? Isn't it? Entirely risk-free nature of it, meaning you can move, for example, on a dark elf team rolling an assassin. You can move your attack to the very first thing you do, even as a blitz, knowing there is a zero fail chance. It's all upside, and then you can replan your turn based on what happens. Yeah, it's that sort of game mechanic breaking ideas that is the very top level of Blood Bowl and tabletop. I hope you're not wrong, Jim. Assassins are shit. <laughs> that's, my, that's that's my problem with the tactic. There is a timeout. Oh. oh wow. Yeah, there's also five elves left. <laughs> yeah, but there is a timeout. There's a chance. That's more than one, and more than one is too many elves, calcium. You've yeah, played blah yeah, enough to know that. I'm I'm on the same page as you there, good sir. But um, yeah, I Crucifer's got stand firm on the sides. Um this isn't easy, is it? Do you remember? Um, when Inarian scored a one turn with like three players on the pitch, so <laughs> yeah, this is possible. Elves, so elves, mm. elves with dodge. Some of these are only threes and fours, and a four with dodge is a one in four fail. I mean, they're twos, right? They're twos. If you pass here, they're twos. Just need a, yeah, just need even just to move one person, and you're threeing through with your dodge oh. players. He so, double one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not how you do it, though, is it? Yeah, no, I hated that. You, you blitz with this guy, right? You 1D, 1D blitz yeah. with this guy. And then if you pack your 2D through with him anyway, and then everyone else just goes straight through and he three twos at the end. Yeah. Three elves and one multiple block tree, is that all it was? I thought you had less than that in Arian, sorry. <laughs> uh, you, you, yeah, you assist with the lineman, you blitz with the blitzer that doesn't need to do anything to do it, and then you see where you're at tag someone with that blitz so the two dodge pieces go through you pick up and you drop out of range and you try a ludicrous throw on the final turn yeah it's it's you know there's only one way to play that turn and it wasn't like that. also you start off with your lineman back not your blitzer because you're only playing yeah. for a you're only playing for a riot anyway yeah and your three dodge pieces up front would have been a lot more useful oh true yeah i didn't even notice that yeah just click turn your bell end. That's <laughs> what that meant. Yeah. You want the pace? You want the pace back there? You put the naked blitzer back there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The the blood, I the dodge. I'm wanting the move seven back there yeah. to get the ball and get it secure. But yeah, yeah. It, the dodge piece should have been at the front yeah. for sure. Now he's thinking to himself. Both he's thinking. Look, if I hadn't, if I hadn't rolled that dub skull, this is what would have happened. That's what he wants to show. What he yeah, really look, got. I could have got <laughs> elves through. I would have scored 101 on the dartboard, and this is uh, look what you could have won. You know, this is what this is right now. Look at these options I'd have given myself for the yeah, money exactly. that I'm now definitely yeah. not getting. <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is just sad. <laughs> well, you know, this is sad now. <laughs> it, do you know what? It is sad. It is sad for Bopith because he won his first two games and now he's yeah, gone out with the first dude. game. The first game that he's lost, he's out of the competition. So that's it's it, that's that, so which bad. is awful. And yeah. Bopith is a great player on tabletop, and he you know has won things and will win other things in his life, but not this game. Yeah, that, it's, and when it's done, it's done. Yeah, that's, that's tragic. That so yeah, Cru Crucifer came through the losers bracket. So Crucifer lost one; he's still in it, and Bopif lost one and is out. So yep, yeah, that is it is yeah, sad when that funny. happens. But um, there you go. Commiserations, Bopif. Congratulations, Crucifer. Thank you very much for this massive casting booth of Purple Chest, Tren, and Calcium. Glorious having you all in the booth. What a laugh it was, enjoyed. wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> what a laugh. Plenty of orc coochies <laughs> and all sorts. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.